guys welcome back to another vlog it's maggie if you're new to my channel today is friday november 17th we only have a few more days left of me being 26 before i turn 27 on tuesday and i'm like i can't even believe it i'm gonna be 27 it's so weird i feel like time has gone by so fast and i've been doing youtube since i was 21 and i feel like it's just been so special because each year i vlog my birthday and i can like go back and watch all my birthdays and see like what I did when I turned 22, 23, 24, stuff like that. So I don't know, time's just going by so quick and it's so crazy. Anyway, I just got to the nail salon. It's three o'clock on Friday and I've been like running around, not running around. I've been like, my energy's been like this morning because I've had so much work to get done, things to submit, things to film things to edit so I've just been like going like crazy I feel like and I finally have some time where I have just like stuff to do on my phone so I'm like wait I'm gonna go get a pedicure and then get my nails done because I right now currently have just nubs some natural nubs on my nails and I took off my gel the other night by myself at home I like filed and wrapped them up with tin foil and all that stuff and it was like just chaotic it took me like an hour and a half and my nails i get i don't know if it's pick, gonna pick up on the camera but since i've been getting like a dark deep red for so long like even during the summer my nails are like stained red underneath even though i just had like charcoal on them like a dark gray but anyway i'm gonna go get them done i'm so excited even though i'm like liking the no polish part of me just wants to get like a just like a natural or like a what's it called naked manicure with like no polish but honestly the red is bad they're like stained but we're gonna go do that and i'm excited that it's a weekend so i just thought i'd bring you guys along and do a little weekend in my life catch up because i haven't vlogged in a minute i have like three vlogs right now waiting to go up on my youtube channel and haven't posted in like two weeks i'm waiting for the first video which is sponsored to be approved by the brand and it's been so tedious so i'm just waiting for that and then i'm so weird i like have to upload everything in order it like bothers me and i did a little thing on instagram asking you guys if you liked the videos being in order or if you don't care if they're like out of order so a lot of people said that they don't care but some people did say that they care so leave a comment if you like didn't respond on Instagram and let me know because I have two other videos that come after the sponsor video that are just waiting to go up and I've had to like wait because I'm like I need to post them in order and blah 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 so I haven't even vlogged since like last week so we're gonna do a little vlog this weekend time to go get the nails done nails and toes and nothing exciting but yeah guys <laughs> I just got out of the shower <laughs> I want to show you my nails. I got a baby pink. I don't know the color. I always look at the color and I forget to write it down. And then like by the time I get home, like I don't remember, but it's OPI. And it's like, it's in between a sheer pink and a milky pink. Like I don't really like, well, no, I feel like it is a milky pink, but I don't really like when the pinks are like white. I like more of like a sheer pink. But these are the nails. I love them. I just did gel. I got red on my toes. Toe reveal. Oh my god, so I just got out of the shower and I did like an everything shower. Well, I didn't wash my hair, so I guess I wouldn't really call it like an everything shower, but I like shaved, exfoliated, all that stuff, and I feel so clean and so good. But I've been using, I'm gonna bring you guys in my shower really quick because I want to show these couple products. This razor right here is from Flamingo. This isn't sponsored. I'm just like genuinely sharing these products because I really love them. Flamingo Foaming Shaving Gel with Aloe Vera. I ordered that on GoPuff. And then I just got this Salt and Stone Body Wash, which is 15.2 ounces. I usually use, which I've been using this for years, Necessaire, which is only 8.4 ounces. I don't know what the price difference is between the Necessaire Body Wash and the Salt and Stone. I'm like obsessed with the Salt and Stone one. I feel like the Necessaire packaging is a little funky because it like comes out so fast and it's so much and I feel like sometimes I waste product because of that but I was looking and I was like oh my god I already need a new body wash and I literally just got a new one I felt like and then I got a package in the mail from salt and stone and then it was body wash and I was like oh my god this couldn't have been 
like more perfect timing. So I just want to share those. <laughs> couple shower products that I really have been liking. I've been trying not to like talk about products that much and like push products down your throat because I feel like, I don't know, that's like, I've definitely been there before and been like, product, 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 link, 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 like all, ha ha, which is fine. But I don't know, I'm like, just want my vlogs to be more personal and like, I don't know, kind of like we're on FaceTime and we're hanging out because yeah, also what I did want to say about that is that I, Instead of like talking about products, like everything that I use, if you're wondering, I will link down below in the description everything I wear, like if I'm wearing makeup or like those things that I talked about, I will link them down below. So everything's always down below. I go through my videos before I upload them and I like watch them and see like what, if I use like specific cups or stuff like that and I will link it so it's easy for you guys to find it because I know sometimes when I'm watching content and I am wondering where something's from it's nice to have it linked but I don't know I just don't want to be like talking about only like talking about products in my videos which I've been trying to do also I haven't vlogged in like <laughs> I haven't vlogged in like a week so I'm about to go and upload that vlog that I was talking about that is not approved yet that I literally filmed like two weeks ago and I'm actually glad that it got approved. So thank God I can like get back onto my routine. So hopefully you guys aren't seeing, well, you guys won't be seeing this video as late as those ones because those are gonna be like catch up videos from the past two weeks. And this will be like more up to date and current. I'm really excited for tonight because I have a little, oh, my legs just feel so smooth. Oh, I'm like on a tangent, but what I wanted to say about the Flamingo products after I just said I'm not gonna like <laughs> I'm trying not to talk about products but I got laser hair removal for like three years and I just feel like it didn't work at all like it worked while I was going like actively going but then once my sessions ran out my hair grew back so I obviously have to shave now and the flamingo products are so good and my legs right now, I'm putting lotion on them. They're like so smooth and I just love it. Like I really love how they work because I feel like before I would just like order random razors or go puff and they would like cut me. But anyway, sorry, I'm like legit actively putting lotion on my body. But I have a little dinner date tonight with my sister. I'm excited to go out to dinner, just her and I. We've been like hanging out just her and I lately and it's been really nice. I feel like we haven't had like sister time, honestly in a really long time because she moved to California when I first met Mac. And like before I met Mac, it was like always just me and Emma. And then I met Mac, she moved to California, she came back, she was like living on the Cape for the whole summer. And then during the fall was like hanging out with her friends a lot. And then she met Peyton and she's just been like with Peyton. And which I'm not like obviously mad about <laughs> it's like it is what it is like I get it people get in relationships But I feel like when we do hang out, it's always like a group thing like it's like Peyton, Emma, me, Mac, Graydon, Chase Or just like me, Mac, Peyton, and Emma we've hung out a lot together Which I obviously love but it's been really nice to just be with Emma and hang out with her and go to dinner Like the other night I had a little event that I had to go to and she came with me And we literally showed up I did a TikTok about this but we showed up and we were wearing the same fur coat. It, we didn't even plan it. And I get out of my Uber and I show up at the Prudential Center downtown. And I like looked and I'm like, who's that girl wearing the same coat as me? I'm like, wait, that's my sister. And we were wearing the same exact outfit. It was so funny. I'm like, usually we call each other before we go out and we'll plan. I'm like, hey, what are you wearing tonight? Like blah, blah, blah. Talk about the vibe. Like, you know how you do that in your group chat with your girlfriends? And we didn't do that. We showed up the same outfit. It was so funny. But we're gonna go to dinner at six o'clock. It's four right now, which is crazy that it's like getting dark out. And we're gonna have a little sister date night. I really need to get ready by like five. So I have an hour to upload my video. I also need to respond to a few emails. I'm like in the process of switching my health insurance. I'm turning 27, so last year. On my birthday i was like off my dad's health insurance and he sent me a link on my birthday where you had to like sign up for insurance and i clicked the link i called the person it was like i like i've obviously never done this before in my life so it was my first time i like didn't know 
which one was good or really anything about that, which I feel like is normal <laughs> for a 26 year old. Like, you know, when you just get to this age and then all the stuff that you just have never thought about once in your life, you have to start thinking about that's like what happened to me. So I apply for this health insurance Everything's great, whatever, I get it, I get the card in the mail, and I am paying for it each month. It was like $350 a month or something, and then I tried to go to the dermatologist once, I tried to go to the doctor once, and then they were literally like, we like don't know what this is, like we can't take this insurance, and I was like, uh, okay, like whatever. And then <laughs> I go to find out, this is like last week, I go to find out that whatever thing I signed up for, was a scam so i got scammed and i've been paying 350 dollars a month for the past year not being able to go to the doctor or anything like when i did go to the doctor i had to pay out of pocket i went to like a walk-in urgent care thing called one medical in seaport and which i like rarely go to the doctor anyway but i like to like go and do my yearly checkups like obviously and go to i really need to go to do a mammogram like i've been talking to my mom about it because breast cancer runs in my family and i've been like freaking out that i need to do that like i have to book my yearly appointments which this is a good reminder to always like make sure you're keeping up with that type of stuff but <laughs> i don't know i've been getting scammed i was at my like a meeting with my cpas and they were like they go through all my expenses and we talk about just like my money and the money i need to invest and blah 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 so we were talking about health insurance and they were like you have health insurance right and i was like yeah but i like don't know what it is like that's funny that you guys mentioned it because i've been waiting for open enrollment to open for blue cross blue shield or just the one that i had when i was under my parents and they were like yeah like can we see your insurance card and i showed it to them they were like we don't know what this is like this isn't real and i was like really like i've been getting these emails and all this stuff like this makes so much sense because i couldn't go anywhere and they were looking at one of the emails that i got because it said like hello margaret time to renew since it's been a year that i've had this and they were like clicked on one of the links and it said this it did, didn't even exist like whatever it was didn't exist and i'm like oh like of course that happens to me last year it was like just the worst honestly like one of the worst years no i'm not i'm being dramatic i'm not going to say like the worst year but it just was like not really my year and i feel like I'll, just everything bad that was happening it just kept happening over and over and over it was like always something i was just didn't feel like myself and i was just like uncomfortable i had acne i was just like dealing with a lot mentally and just like emotionally and of course that happened i get scammed <laughs> i'm like thanks dad for the link which didn't even i don't know it was just like i was wondering why i was getting random calls from like numbers after i had signed up like i would get calls and like did my number get leaked like what is this yeah so moral of the story <laughs> don't make the same mistake i did like please please don't this is why i'm like talking about this because just i don't know also okay yeah no i'm ranting i gotta upload this video love you guys <laughs> of the night i am wearing this sweater which i just actually got in the mail they gifted it to me it's a revolve 
and Revolve Times Beverly Hills or something. And it's this cute collared sweater. I just did like a little tuck. And then I'm wearing these Mason Margiela jeans and these heels to add something fun. They're just little leopard heels from YSL and I have these really big hoops on these like hammered ones from Jennifer Fisher. I'm excited to have sushi. I haven't had it in a really long time and I'm like excited to go and eat at Lola and oh, that's where we're going. We're going to Lola and I'm excited. <laughs> I was just about to go out and get breakfast and like pick it up but I was like wait I like couldn't decide what I wanted and Mac wanted a certain place and I didn't want that place so I looked in my fridge and I'm like wait I can like make something with what I have because I don't have like bacon or anything I really want like a bacon egg and cheese so we're doing something different we're just doing what I have in the fridge because I do have food so there's no need for me to go out and get something right now when it's like so easy for me to just whip something up. I just had to get creative. So we're doing eggs, prosciutto, and Parmesan cheese, arugula, chipotle mayo, and sourdough bread. <laughs> so hopefully this is good. This is the finished product. <laughs> I literally haven't burnt any Christmas candles or done anything that has to do with Christmas yet because I feel like I need to wait for my birthday to pass and then Thanksgiving before I can even like think about Christmas. I don't know because I feel like a lot of people decorated early this year. Like my sister has her tree up already and I've just been seeing even like, I don't know, so much content on TikTok and other people like posting YouTube videos of like just I think just posted a video doing her Christmas decorations. I think I saw that this morning and I just like haven't done anything. I I just lit a Christmas candle because I don't I don't know. I kind of wanted to like smell this right now and all my fall candles burnt out and I don't have any more left. So this is like the first thing that I'm burning first Christmas candle of the year, I guess. And uh, it's just so weird. I feel like I need to like process and have my birthday and then I need to have Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving still reminds me of like fall and the leaves changing and just like that whole entire vibe. I feel like, I don't know, I like can't get into the Christmas spirit until after Thanksgiving. But like the day after Thanksgiving, I'm gonna work on doing wreaths around the house and I wanna put up the garland again. I did garland on the stairs last year and I'm gonna do like ribbons and stuff and make it all look all pretty and cute. And we're gonna get a real tree this year and I'm really excited about that. Also, I just put my phone down. I put my phone down somewhere <laughs> and I don't know where I put it. I left it in this bathroom. I can't wait till I have like my own house one day because this little bathroom like a little powder room off the kitchen is so cute to, I don't know, I wanna like design my powder room and have like wallpaper and make it like look really unique and cute. I feel like I just love seeing powder rooms that look like that. And there's just so much stuff that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to have my own house one day so I can like do all these things. And you know, it's like hard when you're renting cause you can't do like permanent stuff <laughs> unless you do like renters wallpaper like the stuff that can be removed but oh shoot i forgot can you go get me a trash bag yeah thank you i'm gonna do a little bit of laundry right now i have like towels and stuff that need to go in I do a try on haul i want to put all these clothes away in my closet i got some stuff from naked i already wore this shirt i just noticed i got deodorant 
all over it but I got some really great stuff and they're having a massive sale right now the best sale of the year honestly it's 50% off all black items and select items are 70% off on their website so I will link all the pieces that I got I'm gonna try them on show you guys sizing everything they'll all be down below and make sure to take advantage of the sale because this is just a great deal their prices are already really good but you guys get 50% off, which is amazing. I got some really cute pieces. I like needed going out top. I feel like I just have a lot of basics, which is fine. But sometimes you just want like that statement piece. So I got a few tops that I can wear out. And this one I really, really love. I got this in a size small. It's like this purple and pink floral mesh top. I love this. I'm really into colors right now especially pink i really love pink i did a color analysis test and one of my colors was pink so i've been wearing a lot of just like baby pinks so this is stunning i love the detailing on the side and then i also got just a plain black mesh top this is perfect for layering in the winter i also love just wearing like a little bra underneath this and pairing it with just like a pair of fun pants and heels it's like very simple going out outfit but i feel like i don't know i'm really into mesh right now i love anything like mesh or lace this season and that top i got in a size small i also got this set right here which is so cute black skirt i love this gold ring detailing on the skirt and this is what the top looks like it has that same gold ring detail and i love how like the i love the cut of the neck so flattering you guys know i love a set just so easy to throw on like you look very put together especially if you style it with like a pair of heels or like knee-high black boots some gold jewelry and then i also got these red high-waisted burgundy leather pants these are perfect they fit amazing they're also very wide leg which i love i love adding a pointed black heeled booty so i love these oh my gosh and then i got this cozy cute sweater i love anything off the shoulder right now it's like fuzzy and warm this is perfect for the holidays i think that this is so cute you could wear it with like a skirt honestly in little tights or even do it with a pair of jeans and like a little pink bow in your hair it would look so cute or like any color bow but you guys know i'm really into pink love this so comfy cozy i love off the shoulder i love like showing your collarbones your neck i just think it's very feminine and i feel like there's a lot of off the shoulder tops that are really like this style is very popular right now this is so cute got this also in a size small and then i got this top right here which i love it is a charcoal gray just like rouged top love this size small again just like a perfect top to throw on with jeans i have these jeans actually from naked already that are like a low rise gray wide leg jean they're like a light gray which i think would look so cute with this and like silver heels and then i got a lace bodysuit this is like throwback to college i used to wear these in college all the time but there really is nothing like just like a little lace bodysuit for layering because you can throw on like a top over this or a jacket i think would look super cute even like a white button up like unbuttoned a few buttons and then i love that print so much of one of the the first top that i showed you guys that i got it in a dress so this is a obviously sleeve this sleeveless dress so i feel like you'd have to be summer warmer like i am definitely going to be wearing this next time i go to like Miami or something. I just love this pattern. I think it's so cute. I love the mesh. I love that it has a little slit. And I got this dress in a size small. And then we have two coats. This one is a size 36. It's like this great faux fur leather coat. Sherpa chocolate brown, which is amazing. I love that it's all chocolate brown though. I like that the fur is the same color as the faux leather it's perfect for layering also like this is a pretty big sweatshirt that i have on underneath so it just goes to show like i wouldn't wear this together but like how cute is this coat for the colder months 
And then last but not least, one of my favorite jackets and a staple that I think everybody should have in their closet is a tan trench coat. I have a tan trench and I have a black trench and I just got another trenchy. This one's a little bit different than the one that I have. I like how this one has a different color collar. Love. Oh my God, I think like a trench is just makes any outfit. This is like perfect, especially for layering on a rainy day. My dog is trying to get in. Hey, you wanna come in? Come on, I know. <laughs> Mommy's doing a haul. Mommy's doing a haul. Do you like my leather? I mean, my trench? I put the blanket on Milo and he's been laying like this for like 15 minutes. I just went downstairs, I put a load of laundry in, I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes and he's just been like <laughs> laying like this. You so cozy? You feel so good? My baby, he needs to get a bath today. Guys, I don't know what it is, but he's been getting like, see, I need to wash his, we need to give you a bath today. I need to wash his face. He's been getting like a lot of boogers under his eyes. And I don't know why. I feel like you never used to get a lot. It just suddenly came. Oh, you're so relaxed. My baby. You don't want mommy to bother you no more. Okay. I love you. I love you. Have a good nap. He's like, can you please leave me alone? <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. I almost forgot. I just cleaned out this little candle container. And I need to use it to organize the rest of my lip products. I like to reuse all the little containers that my candles come in and like put stuff in them because they're so pretty. <laughs> Milo with the sock. And I have some right here that are like leftover that didn't fit when I organized them the other day which this is actually perfect because these are all kind of like darker tinted lips except for these two those are clear but we can put those stick those in there as well there we have it my organization and today is brush cleaning day. So we're gonna clean all my makeup brushes. Get them all nice and clean. This is your sign to do this every single Sunday. It only takes like 10 minutes. And I like to just put on music. I mean, you can listen to music. You can listen to a podcast. You don't have to listen to anything you at all. Like really whatever you want. And just taking the time to do this. It's very therapeutic and also it's really good for your skin. I like to just use this giant thing of Dr. Bronner's baby soap. I just get this on GoPuff. You can get it on Amazon or at the store. I've seen it in so many different stores. And I have this Sigma silicone pad that I just like to use to clean them. Obviously add just like a little bit of soap. And then it has like different textures for different brushes so they have like powder contour blending brushes liquid so this is powder so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean all my brushes because i know next time i gonna i go to do my makeup like my future self is gonna thank me for doing this Like said that it was warm today it says that it's 50 degrees out but i'm like it's freezing right now maybe because the sun went down it's 47 degrees but i'm like so cold 
Mac and I are picking up dinner. <laughs> it's 4.30. Guys, it's literally 4.30 right now. Look how dark it is. But we're getting, well, he ordered a buffalo chicken calzone and a Greek salad. Hi. He's like staring at me from a little pizza place. And we're going to hang out tonight. He's finally not working. And I feel like he just has been working so much and like so late into the night so it's nice that he's not working tonight i've been like really wanting to watch the notebook so maybe we can watch that tonight there's another movie i wanted to watch too i forgot the name of it i keep seeing tiktoks about it but yeah we're probably just gonna chill tonight he keeps calling me park <laughs> he keeps calling me parky because i'm wearing this little sweatshirt he's like parky parky and i had a friend in high school that was like in my friend group and his nickname was parky and I'm like, oh my god, stop calling me that. Like, please. No shade to Parky, though. <laughs> or the brand. Yeah, there's nothing like just, like, getting... What else did he get? Like, pizza or, like, something cozy. Like, whenever I order pizza or get anything from, like, a pizza shop, I always have to get a Greek salad. There's nothing like getting just, like, pizza and, like, getting takeout food and, like, eating it. This is about to be so bomb. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even know they have what the heck guys look at this it's oreo vanilla ice cream let me put it in the freezer you know what i was just thinking of well i was just gonna say buffalo chicken calzones like were my favorite thing ever when i was in high school yeah i just like love everything buffalo chicken and we used to go to this place after or like before hockey or field hockey and it's called Supreme, and they had the best buffalo chicken calzone. I would always go. And then when I got to college and I like stopped playing sports, I was like started going to the gym every single day. And I feel like that's when like my health obsession like came about. Like when I went to college, you know? Because I was like, oh my god, I have to like do something. And I feel like I stopped eating like pizza and calzone. And calzones and I don't know I was just like really strict with what I ate and now I feel like I just eat everything and it's so good this just looks so good my mouth is watering I've been noticing when I pick up like a drink I like put my pinky up <laughs> isn't that funny I don't know why. I noticed it when I took this TikTok of me drinking a Diet Coke the other day. I was like this. I feel like I've had the most relaxing day. <laughs> I wanted to go to the gym today. I'm sad I didn't. I went yesterday and I did 12 3 30 and it just felt so good to just like go and move my body. It like smells weird in my sauna right now. <laughs> I'm like, why does it smell like a cigarette? That's really weird. But anyway, I am going to do a little sauna instead. It's heating up right now, but I like couldn't wait any longer. It should heat up quick. It's at 103. <laughs> Not that anybody cares. I'm going to do like 35 minutes in the sauna. It's only 6.30. It's like so early. Still, and Matt got done with work and he is like upstairs. He's like ready to go to bed and I'm like... You're gonna go to bed right now. I feel like you should like stay up and not go to sleep until at least like nine o'clock. Cause if he falls asleep right now, he'll be up at like two in the morning and then won't be able to go back to sleep. So I was telling him just like wait at least like a few more hours. I really want to get a spray tan for Thanksgiving. I'm supposed to be going to the spa on Tuesday on my birthday with my mom and Emma. We're getting massages and. I can't get a spray tan because then the massage oil is gonna like ruin the spray tan. But then I can't get this because my birthday's Tuesday. I wanted to have a spray tan for my birthday. I swear I've said my birthday's Tuesday like seven times in this video. So I'm really sorry if that's annoying. Sometimes I forget, like, if I've been vlogging for a few days, I forget what I've said and I forget. Not that I forget, but it's just like I might repeat myself. And I'm obviously realized that like you guys are watching this video and it's like a few days, but you're watching it in like it'll be however many minutes the video ends up being but for me it's been like days so yeah we're going to the spa and my birthday's on tuesday i wanted to 
Can I not? I wanted to have a spray tan for my birthday and then for Thanksgiving because it's like my birthday, then I have stuff on Wednesday, and then Thursday's Thanksgiving, and then I'll have it throughout the weekend. My friend Liv is coming to Boston. She's going to stay with me on Friday, I think, and then I wanted to hang out with my friend Kaylee on Saturday. So <laughs> I'm like, need a spray tan, but now I'm like, I don't know what to do because... If I get one and then I get the massage, it might get ruined, it won't last, like blah, blah, blah. And I don't like self-tanning because it gets so weird on like my hands and I just like being even. I like getting like sprayed by somebody professionally. Obviously, it's like way more cost effective to self-tan at home, but I just am like, I don't, I'm not good at it. Honestly, when I used to wear Loving Tan, which I'm thinking it now, I need to go back in my old videos and like watch my old videos in college and see like what my tan looked like but i feel like loving tan used to really work i don't know i'm just like i know self tanner it's more convenient and it's cheaper than like getting a spray tan every week but i just like <laughs> i love getting sprayed and just like having it be even you don't have to do anything you just like let it sit shower and then it's like done okay well i'm gonna sauna i don't want my camera to be in here for that long because I get freaked out that it's gonna get ruined. I feel like I've had so much energy today. I don't know where it came from. Like I've just had so much energy. I've had such a productive weekend and I just feel really good. And I got a lot done today. Like a lot of things that I wanted to do like my makeup brushes, laundry, and putting stuff away. I like had all this trash on the floor in my closet from picking up my dry cleaning and I like brought all that stuff out. Like it just felt really good, you know, to like get everything. <laughs> get everything all done and get all reset and ready for the week and I'm excited for my birthday vlog because I'm gonna vlog Monday and Tuesday uh yeah Monday and Tuesday because I am gonna celebrate my birthday both days well the first day I'm gonna do like a friend's birthday we're having it at Emma's house friends by friends I mean Emma and Graydon and me and we're gonna just make dinner and like celebrate my birthday Emma's making a cake and she wants to give me my gift and stuff that day and then on my actual birthday probably gonna do lunch with my mom see what i get up to that day and then mac and i have dinner at night so it's just like i'm excited for that vlog and to like bring you guys along for that and that'll be the next couple of days in the next video so we have a lot going on and then we have thanksgiving and then after thanksgiving it's like crazy because i feel like it's just like boom we're right into the holiday season and then it's like new year's and it's like a new year coming. I don't know why I just always get so nostalgic at the end of every year. Because it's crazy to look... <laughs> I know how cliche this is, but it like really is crazy to look back on where... Like how things were at the beginning of the year. And all that happened and it's just like... Makes you really... Oh, not me kicking the door open. It makes you realize that... I don't know, you don't need to worry about anything i feel like as humans it's so natural for us to always just worry and think about what's coming next or just think about the things that haven't happened yet in your life and at the end of it, the year it's really nice to just sit and reflect on all that you accomplished and not even it's not even about like accomplishments i know we can get caught up like me myself also included i can get caught up in just like trying to accomplish so many things which i think is great but also just like smaller wins and like more personal wins like for me at least i know a big win for me this year was just how obviously how i cleared my skin but i just feel like i really came back to myself and i like got my sparkle back and i just feel so much more confident in my own skin than i did at the beginning of the year and it's just amazing to see the growth that we've all gone through for the year and reflect and i don't know life is just going by so quick and i I've been thinking about it a lot lately and it, I just can't believe it. I keep seeing TikToks about how like 2016 was eight years ago. It's almost 2024 and 2020 was four years ago. Like that's a long time. That's like you think about your high school career. It's like you go to high school for four years. You go to college for four years and it's just like that's wild to think about. Like I haven't been in college since four years ago. You know what I mean? It's just like life has been actually not even four years ago six years ago am i okay yeah i graduated online in 2020 but i haven't like lived at college since 2018 so yeah six years it's like 
I don't know, time is just going by so quick and it's just crazy. But anyway, I'm going to do my sauna and I think I'm going to end off this vlog here just because I want to relax for the rest of the night and I know Mac is going to be wanting to just chill too or hopefully he's not sleeping by the time I get out. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited for my vlogs coming up, like my birthday vlog and then we have like the holidays and I just feel like, I don't know, I love christmas this time of year here in boston so i have a few fun things planned that i'm gonna do and still trying to decide about vlogmas i get messages every single day being like please do vlogmas and i think i want to vlog every day of the month but not do like an upload every day even though that's what vlogmas is it's like one video a day till christmas i feel like i don't know i always struggle with like my vlogs being repetitive or I just want them to be interesting for you guys so instead of having like a 10-15 minute vlog from the day, I don't know, I'd rather give you like a longer more in-depth vlog from like a few days but still be picking up the camera every single day. But I don't know, I haven't even decided yet. I'm just like thinking out loud. But anyway, I love you guys so much and I appreciate all of your support and love and the comments on my videos lately and I have a really big giveaway coming up so stay tuned for that on my Instagram and TikTok. My Instagram is Maggie McDonald, TikTok is Maggie.McDonald if you don't follow me there. Stay tuned because I have a really big TikTok coming, really great products. I have a lot of like beauty products. Oh, I have so much makeup. A lot of Tarte, Charlotte Tilbury, Kylie Cosmetics. We have just like a ton of great products. Some perfumes and skincare, body care, stuff like that. That I'm going to be giving away to a few winners. So stay tuned for the information on my platforms. I don't know which one I'm going to do it on yet. I haven't figured it out, but just want to let you know I've been like thinking about that today and I love you and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!